I'm Allison Bree. Thanks for watching Hollywire. We've got Allison Bree in the studio. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. You look absolutely stunning, and I see that you Thank brought you. your best accessory. Oh yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> I love that interview. You're like, I always bring my best accessory with me. <laughs> well, you know, smoke them if you got them. Okay, so it's time to play a game. Great. It is called Holly Wires Never Have I Ever. Now here's how it goes. You get two passes. Of course, we're hoping you don't use any of the passes because that means you'd be an all-star Holly Wire Never Have I Ever champion. Oh. But you do have two passes. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna get right into it. Never have I ever farted in a public elevator and pretended like it wasn't me. Oh, I definitely have. <laughs> Fart all over the place. One time. <laughs> I actually have a really like, funny I fart, fart I have a really funny fart story if you'd like to hear it. Absolutely, we'd love to. Um, years ago, I was in Germany at a wedding with a boyfriend at the time and um, and like his family. And you know, I I hadn't spent much time in Germany before then and and the food was a little different <laughs> than I was used to eating and and I was having some gas. And uh, we were at this wedding reception and we were on the dance floor and I'm dancing up a storm and like the littlest fart escapes my body. So small, I just thought, oh, who cares? Like no one's gonna smell this No fart. one's gonna know. You know what I mean? You certainly couldn't hear it. And then the smell, like <laughs> I smelled it first and was like, what have I done? Oh no. And then I start to notice that people are like clearing off the dance floor and everyone's German. And I'm looking around and people are talking in German and going, ho, ho, ho. And I'm like, oh my God, everyone's smelling the fart. So I just play along. I'm like, this is so gross. And then oh other people, I look over and some guys are like, it was you, it was you. <laughs> like everyone at the reception's talking about the fart. And I just don't say a word because I'm mortified. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. I have. I Good have for you. Skinny dipping, yeah. Where? Like in the river, in the pool? You know, in college, I went to Cal Arts, and um, clothing was optional at the school pool, so we would skinny wow. dip there sometimes. <laughs> what kind of school is this? Oh, it was an art school. Oh, okay. <laughs> Artistic freedom. Yeah, exactly. I think it was promoting body positivity, and that's a good thing. I love it. So never have I ever taken a sexy selfie and sent it to the wrong person. I don't think that has ever happened. No, I've never sent it to the wrong person. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. But I don't do that anymore in general because no matter who you send it to, it seems like everyone will see it eventually. That's true. <laughs> So you're in the ring in real life and you can wrestle anybody. They could be dead, alive, it could be your husband. Who would you wrestle and why? People are always asking me if I wrestle my husband and I <laughs> want to be clear, we do not. <laughs> um, I, I, I can't, this is, it's, I, you'd think I would have like a boxed answer ready to go to this question because I get asked it very often, but I don't know that I have a strong desire to wrestle outside of the world of GLOW. Um, Betty Gilpin is the greatest wrestling partner I could ask for. It's so fun to wrestle each other as Ruth and Debbie, as Zoya and Liberty Bell, and I feel like that's the height for me. Just, no, there's nobody in mind. I mean, if I could wrestle Andre the Giant like in the <laughs> 80s, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> now you mentioned working with your husband. Yeah. Is there ever a time you just want to throw him in the ring and wrestle him? Like, does he drive you nuts or do you guys have like a really good relationship working together? We have a great relationship working together. He does not drive me nuts. It's my most favorite thing. We just shot a film together that I acted in and he wrote and directed it. It's his directorial debut. And I couldn't have been happier. It was the best set outside of GLOW uh, to be on. And, and truly we finished that project and I just was like, okay, now write another one so we could do another one. And one thing I noticed was when you're wrestling, you just have this crazy hair. <laughs> yeah. So when you're on the set of GLOW, what has been your favorite hairstyle yet? And how much time does it take to wash it out? Like all that teasing. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the Zoya hairstyle 
is the best. It's so bizarre and out there. Season one was definitely like a journey towards finding that hairstyle. And you see Ruth with like a few different iterations of it on her way there. Um, and now that hairstyle just feels like home to me. It's so natural. Um, but it definitely takes some time to wash it out. It starts in the hair and makeup trailer after we finish shooting. We put some oils in it. You start to brush it out, starting at the tips and then taking it to the roots. And then I just have like a crazy sort of afro. <laughs> and then I like contain that in a hair elastic until I get home where the process is like conditioner first, then shampoo, then condition again. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. I loved it. I'm literally gonna leave here thinking about that fart. <laughs> And wondering why you just didn't go get Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I felt so alone. What can I say? I regret it. Yeah. Well, we loved having you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we can't wait to have you again. Thank you. Thank you, Allison.